Two Wauwatosa police officers will not face charges for shooting a teen back in April. They were cleared of wrongdoing today by the DA's office. Jessica Maduker has new reaction tonight from the teen's attorney, and we want to warn you that the video you're about to see is disturbing. Show me your hands. Show me your hands. Stop. Stop. I said stop. Dash and body cam video shows moments leading to 17 year old Demiso Lee being shot by officers near 92nd in Congress back in April. Back up! Good, 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 good! Drop the gun! Drop the gun! In the video, two Wauwatosa officers approach the teen after they say he refused to drop a gun, then attempting to make a run, leading officers to make the decision to shoot. The subject picked up the gun, leading Officer Olson to believe the subject was going to shoot him. Officer Olson discharged his weapon to stop the threat. Lee survived the shooting, but family says he will be dealing with permanent injuries both mentally and physically. The teen's attorney, William Sultan, believes Lee was never a threat. The body camera footage and the dash camera footage is clear. Demiso was not holding a firearm in his hand. He was not pointing it at the officer. He wasn't moving towards the officer in an aggressive fashion at all. And so under those circumstances, he could not be shot. Um, and he certainly could not be shot after he was shot the first time. He certainly could not have been shot after he was shot the first four times. At the time, police believed the silver Pontiac Lee was in had been stolen. However, his family never reported the car had eventually been found before the shooting. This afternoon, District Attorney John Chisholm ruled the officer's use of force was within their right, and therefore his office will not file charges. Now, officers recovered this gun at the scene, and Lee has been charged with possession of a dangerous weapon by a juvenile. His attorneys say they are still waiting for more material from both Milwaukee and Wauwatosa police, and that they are looking to bring a lawsuit. In the newsroom, Jessica Maduker, TMJ4 News.